And now to the impeachment of President Donald Trump. Now that the Democrat-controlled House of Representatives has voted to impeach the president, the question is, what comes next? Well, Republicans want a speedy Senate trial, but Democrats are considering delaying sending the articles of impeachment to the Senate. CBS 4 Skylar Henry is live in Washington, D.C. for us with the latest. Skylar. Hey, Francis. Yeah, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says that she wants a fair trial before she decides to send these articles through. Now, she just wrapped up a press conference not too long ago briefly mentioning uh, the uh, impeachment process thus far, but saying that she wants to know how the Senate trial will play out before she decides to send those articles through and before she names who and how many managers to send to that trial. The Senate must put this right. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell reacted to the House impeachment of President Trump, saying the Senate exists for moments like this. If the Senate blesses this historically low bar, we will invite the impeachment of every future president. McConnell is waiting for the articles of impeachment to reach the Senate and suggested House Democrats are getting cold feet. They said impeachment was so urgent that it could not even wait for due process, but now they're content to sit on their hands. This is really comical. Wednesday night, the House voted to impeach a president for only the third time in history. Speaker Nancy Pelosi said she's waiting to send the articles until she hears the Senate's plans for a fair trial. We'd like to see a fair process, but we'll see what they have and we'll be ready for whatever it is. Her ally in the Senate, Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, wants new witnesses to testify. Is the president's case so weak that none of the president's men can defend him under oath. The House approved both articles of impeachment along party lines. All but four Democrats voted for both. Every Republican voted no. Whoa! The president held a rally in Michigan during the vote and praised Republican lawmakers. The Republican Party has never been so affronted, but they've never been so united. The president followed up with a flurry of tweets this morning, accusing Democrats of presidential harassment. Now, Senate Republicans have been pushing back on this impeachment so far. We've heard from uh, Senators Rick Scott and Marco Rubio. Senator uh, Scott sent out a statement last night following the impeachment, referring to the Democrats as playing political games. And Marco Rubio used that same sentiment, saying that Democrats were playing games with the transmission of the articles to the actual Senate and said that his decision on whether to uh, to move those articles through uh, to the uh, Senate a trial. He said that it's based on a two-pronged test. Did the president commit treason, bribery, or any other high crime or misdemeanor as meant by the Constitution? And if so, does it rise to the level of removing him from office, or should this just play out 11 months from now and just let the voters decide that? And oh yeah, there's a debate tonight. So we should see how all of this will play out moving forward come January, Francis. On Skylar Henry reporting for us from D.C. Thank you for that.